Okay. What did... I'm talking about positioning in neutral, so mostly spacing stuff. Got it. One more time! You are a childish parody of the divine. Ladies and gentlemen, it's okay. showtime! Good air throw. Dropped. That's really weird. Let peacock. Actually, wait. How did you even get hit? Missed timed incoming slightly. Swept. Unfortunate. Yeah. Just a little bit spacing. That was one of Roa's best buttons. A lot of characters will lose to it just barely. Caught their toes with the assist. Need one more mix. Missed it. Unfortunate. And your character dies for it. Connection doesn't also look very fun to play, not gonna lie. Good confirm. Yeah, pro I mean, yeah, this is going to be rough. <laughs> but that was... Oh, right. I'm going to have to pause it myself. Looking good so far. Not seeing anything that's really getting you exploded besides... Honestly, Eliza drops. Also, yeah, Ben. I mean, I was about to call you out. I'm just gonna say we understand it because we don't play card games. <laughs> For reference, this is my friend who plays uh, Hearthstone semi-professionally. <laughs> so he uh, he likes to take his time thinking. <laughs> Dash block, round start, fair enough. Choking space. Let him out. She got back in. Confirm. Mix, they're up back. Eliza buttons. Oh my god, no. I tried pressing Skullgirl's hotkeys on a YouTube thing. It's a good job hitting the assist. This is just going to be really rough for well, basically your entire team, honestly.
Raw Tug, I can agree with it. And she just teleports out. Hit the assist every chance you get. You've been doing that really well so far. Good throw. That right idea, unfortunate her snap is a... Uh... That's hilarious. Good job killing both. It's been nice and coming. Might have been a little bit slow, but... Broke her armor. That loses, really. Good block. That is not the option I would choose. Um, I've, I've seen a lot of Umbrellas do it after push blocks, but I feel like one of the most common things people do after a push block is up forward. And so that's just... It can catch people sleeping, but... It feels really risky to do after you've just committed yourself to, like, getting back into neutral. Um, you just got yourself out of the pressure, and then you're flipping the coin after you already got yourself out, rather than while you're still in it. Random? Okay. Okay, it just gets caught trying to anti her air to air. And then, again, that's the second time in a row you got hit after blocking a sweep. I'm not entirely sure what's going on there, but. Um. Don't. <laughs> that's helpful. Um. Hmm. You might just be able to DP there. I'm not entirely sure what you were trying to do, but uh That is her hunger meter. She has a unique mechanic to her. And it changes her specials and such. <laughs> Double V Robo, she does have 5 bar, which makes this really scary. Good block. Double jab is awful. Um, what options do you have here? I, Yeah, I wouldn't recommend jabbing. Uh, it is an Eliza player, so you probably know a lot more than I do, Dre. Yeah. No, um, L Bomber would probably work there. Honestly, two heavy punch is an egregious button, so it might win there. I don't want to guarantee that it would, though. Um, we'll, we'll do a VC. I need to... Actually, I mean, I kind of already have it set up, because I thought I might be having someone else... Is this just a screen recording? Yeah, it is. Okay. Um, let me just black this out real quick. I don't want to dox anything stupid. Hello. This should bring us to a thing together. Can I full screen this? What? 
Can I really not full screen this? I hate this. Okay, one sec. Hello there. There we go. Hello. Um, okay. Am I dumb? Do you know of a way to full screen this? No, I've never seen this website you sent me. Okay. I've, I, I've used one of these websites with JP. I don't remember which one it is. So let's see if, uh... Just like screen share it. Because this actually lets us watch it both at the same time. With no delay. There isn't... Okay. There's a good amount of delay in these. If you have problems playing your videos, try disabling your ad blocker. Yep, I saw that. I'm just... Dreiser, Dreiser took me on the factory for the first time. <laughs> well, it wasn't the first time. Well, the second time. And let's just say five rounds in a shotgun is not enough. Yeah, it's not. Okay, maybe this will work. This one lets me full yeah. screen it. <laughs> Man, so many malware sites. This isn't malware. Alright. Yeah, there we go. This is why I come here. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> Okie doke. Do I just hit play? When I hit play, does it play it for you? What Are you pl is it playing right now? Yeah. No. <laughs> okay, whatever. Fucking cursed. What's the point of this website then? Wait, what? I don't, I don't know. Just, just stream it on Discord, bro. Yeah, I will. It's too much. The one I did with GPU just worked fine. I don't know why this one's being difficult. <laughs> Pen, leave me alone. You don't even play this game. <laughs> Alright. she do? Jab. Okay, so you I guess yeah. I, I told you maybe too heavy punch for it last time. It didn't. Uh L bomber or just hold it, I guess. It's really unfortunate. Robo jump medium punches something. Or kick. A good move. Or wait no, it is punch. Some people will say. And now you're dead. And now it's a one-touch game. Good blocks. Okay, um, one thing I will say, and I'll kind of wait for this game to end. You are choosing very weird times to push block. Um, so, if you're blocking a multi-hit move, there are two ways to think about it. You can try and push block as early as possible and create yourself a large window to PBGC and either a DP or just a fast button if the pressure is really bad. Or you wait for the last hit. And that just push blocks them away. And so you have space to breathe. Um, you, you blocked like two jump medium punches and didn't push block at all. Which just let her kept doing it, let her keep doing it, and then um, during that one, you block the jump medium punch and then push block like the second to last missile. Did we already? Did you already talk about them trying to jab out of pressure a lot? Ish. They did it with uh, double and just whiffed because double jab is atrocious. I mean, they just did it with Eliza as well. Eliza, it's a little bit better. Because she can at least catch people up forward buttoning because her jab's so high. <laughs> Please. Therapy session complete. 
All right, all right, show's over. One more once. <laughs> Wrong game, Ruby. Ladies and gentlemen, it's showtime. Patient round start, and then you run into the DP. Okay. Good job getting through the garbage. Just didn't hold the DP afterwards. Instead of um, DPing there, when she's above your head, where was it? I went a little too far back. Um, instead of yeah, instead of DPing here, Horus, air insurance or bird insurance. This is exactly the situation it's built for. Um, and I think at that point they're too high that chicken blocking doesn't do anything for them. It don't. So you're you're safe to go for that there. Um, DP is never going to hit in a world here. They're way too high. So it's just try not to autopilot into that option. Unfortunate drop and explode. Patient with item drop. Closing space and heading the assist. It's good. You are getting hit by this DP a lot. I would recommend, especially because it seems like they're down backing as you get close and calling it, um, try and recognize that and throw. Which, it, it's really a lot harder said than done. I struggle with this a lot. Um, but it's something you need to start thinking about a little more. Unfortunate incoming. Mistimed. Good punish. Good mix. I'm saying, um, after you've, like, done a good job getting through all their garbage and you've approached to the point where you're, like, in striking range, they've just been down backing and calling any DP. And you've pressed a button and gotten exploded every time for it. And because it's any DP, all of a sudden you're sent full screen again. Um, so if you recognize an opponent's trying to turtle like that, throwing opens them up like 90% of the time. People who crutch on that, crutch on it hard, and it's really hard for them to get it out of their muscle memory. Um, as a person who struggles to punish this, and as a, someone who used to do this all the time when I ran a pillar assist, um, if you, it, it's, it's a common habit to see, especially among higher intermediate, lower advanced level players, um, Throwing will open them up and let you get in. Yeah, so like even here, they weren't necessarily in threat, but they saw you running up, so they down backed and called the assist. Um, and so it's just a very important interaction you need to kind of be able to pick up on. They should be dead to chip, right? Oh, they raw tagged. And you weren't blocking, unfortunately. Yeah. And now you're in a really bad spot. How do you deal with this? You dealt with it really well. <laughs> you punish their mistake immediately. And then messed up the route. Good block. Really good pressure. Honestly, I think they did that one on purpose. You 
shoot the gun. <laughs> the gun is also a very good option for double. Oh my god, I need to take my hands away from my number pad, because that just yeets the video somewhere else. Good dash block. It's definitely an annoying button to punish. Good job getting over all the garbage. The right answer for 2MK would have been better. Oh, this is unfortunate. Damn. Probably fucked up. Fish. It still works for them, which is kind of annoying. And then they just do HR beam and chip you out, or not. They just let you out. They wanted like them the heads. Grip. I appreciate you are trying to hit the assist almost every time it's in front of you. Um, it's a really good habit to be in. And I was about to say, you do really need to be careful with your assist calls. Oh, you don't need the OTG for that. Okay, Janath doesn't know this character at all. Good throw. Unfortunate drop, and you're dead. Yeah. I am not sure if you know this, but I am a robot. Can I get a round of applause for our contestants? <laughs> one more once. Gaze into the face of your death. Everybody warmed up? Action! <laughs> yeah, you're honestly really just struggling to deal with that DP assist. Because you're, you're doing a good job being patient, getting through a lot of the garbage, and then right before the finish line, you kind of just get slapped. Nice. And you take the corner back as well. And it didn't matter in the end, but way to be cognizant that you have the corner so you can do all three hits. It's nice to see. First bait, fair. I mean, so after the burst bait, how did you get hit? Yeah. Just gotta hold that. Incoming button. Fair. Shoot the gun. Gets hit by the other DP. That assist is so big. And you get hit by it again. Gonna open the start gate on you? Oh god. It's a dead blob. So did you just oh, god, that was weird. The thing I was going to say is, um, you do have a reflector. It's nice to help you get in, but it is expensive. One thing, <laughs> understandable. One thing that, uh, every character has as an option, um, especially when they're full screen versus robo. If you have super jump and anything that stalls you in the air, 
Robo doesn't have anything that goes up. So she has to be level with you or above you. So if you have super jump, and in this case, um, Umbrella has a float. Um, if you're struggling to get in full screen, you don't always have to spend that meter. You can try and get above her and use that to close a little bit of the distance. One downside is because it's a robo, she can sprint underneath you. So not doing it every time, but it is a good option to deal with robo because her dead zone is anything above her. And if you can get there, it makes your life a whole lot easier, especially on slightly less mobile characters like Umbrella or Double. Or allies all your whole team. That was unfortunate. Grippy just barely miss. There's a lot of bars there. Yeah, now you don't have enough. For the kill afterwards. Yeah, and then the DP assist. DP assist. All right, all right, show yeah, honestly, taking like a second to just like stare at your opponent would probably be winning you a lot more of these matches. They're just calling it DP. Yep. I'll keep watching and then. I'm sure you've already heard some of the things to say. Good group. Catch him chicken blocking. I just know what's been said already and I don't, I don't want to be a broken record. You've been on call for every game but one, and I didn't say all that much in the first game. And especially if you have anything really specific to this, any of these Eliza matchups, feel free to chime in, because I've definitely not said it. A little ass. <laughs> there is no yeah, winning. Like... The best one you have is against Annie, even if she just like looks at you, you just kind of like, uh. It blocks. Okay. It does. Does stand medium punch even win when Robo's over your head like that? Yeah. Okay. Yeah. That's another thing you can be trying to do when Robo's just being egregious. It's a cute mix. The DP route. Kind of surprised you opted into this over Bite into just ending with Lady of Slaughter, but both seem good. Getting her out and just letting her regen the red health is also a perfectly fine response. And yep, home breaker. <laughs> oh no. Oh no. Unfortunate teacup. What if I spawn? I don't think just you caused this, I think it's a dumb button. Spell the meter. Goodbye, Blob. Bad any player. Bad. You do stinker in that situation. <laughs> they like pressing falling buttons a lot. Okay. They just like pressing a button. Even when they're down back into pressing that assist button. Hmm. True. Skullgirls do classic. I would just do some ignorant ass armor move and kill them both. Oh hey, would you look at that? You have someone on your team with an ignorant ass armor button. Wait, who has Ooh. armor? One more one. Eliza. Oh. Seki. Yeah. Yeah, you don't pressure that much with Sekman, honestly. That, that's definitely a Eliza player preference thing, but it is a good tool if used appropriately. Good punish. Plant. Unfortunate draw. Plant punish. Plant punish. Plant punish. Just sitting there calling this as 24-8, I would probably just throw it out and see if it hits. Yep. That's a good point. Like right there. And you have a summer point, you can just go home. Yeah. Especially... Like, um, 3K to the... Yeah, like that. Oh! 
Yeah, look at that. Because they've especially been calling it when you're in the air above them. If you fall on them as they're down backing with uh, axe from the air, as a player who did this constantly, that stuff exploded me. I can understand wanting to snap them in. Um, unfortunate timing. First bait. Same side mid. Good pressure. There we go. Nice. And all five hits. Free itch. Now you're cooking with gas. <laughs> Mix. Honestly, yeah, no, good choice. Get rid of the end of Z, then go back in. Just keep him in the corner. You're really hitting them with this instant overhead. That looks stupid. Well, that was a really good round. Yeah, you used the skeleton, and then they just kind of like exploded. Two of the characters came in with like chunked help. Amazing. I shouldn't be long. Yes, Barney. Everybody warmed up? Showtime! Dash block. Yeah, I had him drop. What are you gonna do? Really good job punishing that as a score. I'm assuming that was a miss input. Good confirm. I'm mixing. Uh, don't do that mix against double jumpers, that's what's gonna happen. Fair enough. Punch that assist. Safe raw tag. Fair. That was actually really good. What the hell? That works. I hate that. Yeah, good air throw. Unfortunate that that drops. And again, this is kind of start getting to the point where um, it's not direct advice, but it's more learning how to adapt advice. Um, almost every time you've been calling um, Spiral as pressure, they've been trying to up back and then push block it so they can land on you with a falling button. And so if you can time a low to catch them up backing, that opens them up. If you can um, exploit them trying to push a button on the way down, that also works. And so it's kind of just a little bit more thinking actively about the game um, and what you need to be, what your opponent's doing that's working that beats you. Oh my god, that wins. I, I can appreciate the idea. Um, And he's jumping heavy punch, it's just jumping heavy punch. That works on a lot of other characters. Gun. Gun do work, but gun. Gun, gun gun wouldn't have worked there. They were too far behind you. One more once. Sorry, I'm I, I like I'm fucking tired as hell all of a sudden for no fucking reason. Good grip. Yeah. 
you had a lot of time there that you just didn't use. That was a little strange. Just kind of like looked at them. Yeah. Yeah, now they're starting to catch on to you push it, punching their assist a little bit. They've been trying to figure out how to deal with it. That's one way to get in. It's expensive. And now they're gone. That doesn't reach yeah, that's so unfortunate. Yeah, you kind of got hurt on that one. It would have been a brutal comeback to try and make, but that's really now fucking annoying. Yeah, and Loonful will shoot. One yes. Okay. Yeah, and it's understandable to be irritated versus this team. Ladies and gentlemen, it's showtime. It's really annoying. That wins. Why? Good PBGC. Really good PBGC. Unfortunate, no confirm. I'm assuming it was just a misinput. Cartouche. So, one thing I have noticed that you kind of do, um, you've been push blocking some of the projectiles, and I haven't been able to discern necessarily like a rhyme or reason as to why you've been doing it. Because push blocking projectiles can open windows for you, but it can also shoot you in the foot. And so, like right there, you push blocked two things while falling. Um, and there's not really much it would have let you do because you still needed to land anyway before you could go back up again. Um, I don't think push blocking ever shortens the block stun of any of her projectiles. I want to say the set, whatever it is, is it 24 frames? I can't remember off the top of my head. It's it's a good amount of time you're locking yourself in the push block animation. Um, much more so than any one of those single projectiles would uh, cause on their own. And so the block stun. you're just making yourself a little bit. You're limiting your options because you're by trying to shorten your block stun, you're actually increasing it. 17 frames of block stun, 21 frames of block stun, and 24, depending on the level of item drop. Hmm, yeah. Yeah. So it's... For instance, like, I think we were... Catpie was talking about this earlier. If they're doing the usual, um... L George, H George, or... M George, H George item drop stand heavy punch sort of stuff if you block the first hit of the stand or if you push block the stand heavy punch projectile and then all three others er no yeah so you're push blocking the first hit of the stand heavy punch then the item drop hits you and then you get out of the push block um you're able to up forward over the h george before it comes to hit you and so knowing the windows like that is when push block is really helpful but when it's stuff like this where um It's not helping you get anywhere, it's actually hurting you. I know I kind of punted that point into the ground, but it's really important in these matchups. Because you're honestly, a lot of the time, like that, doing a pretty good job getting in. You're, you're playing around her dead zones pretty well, and then kind of just getting exploded by the DP assist afterwards, which is something we've been talking about a little bit. And then this is just annoying. They blocked that cross up. Wow. Do you know how to deal with this? 
Nice. Almost didn't get the punish. Unfortunate drop. That's gross. Good head got me. Rip. Keep them in the corner. Grippy. doing really well once you've got the corner, um, especially with Umbrella, keeping them with incomings. This is unfortunate. The most balanced picks up in the game, and they didn't even do it right. Oh, yeah. Right idea. Misexecuted it. Yeah, I, I would honestly say be very careful about calling your assist in these situations, because if you can just buy time for them to recover red health, that might be enough to win you the game, because versus a zoner, every bit of health you have is really important. Oh, it tempted that command grab four times in a row. Yeah, fishing for that grab as much as you did. One more time! You are a childish parody of the divine. Ladies and gentlemen, it's showtime! He went overhead like four times in a row. Especially because they kept chicken blocking it. Brave, but fair enough. Um, you could have gone for the throw as they were trying to chicken block it, or mixing it up with a low. It's a bit much. Got him in the end, but decision making. Good blocks, and then again, no push block. Push blocking the last hit of Robo jump medium punch is really important if you're trying to just get her off of you. Which kind of sucks because you're also getting Robo off of you, but it's honestly a better position than risking getting hit. Cheeky. Respect it. And DP assist again. One for the instant overhead. Shoot the gun. Oh, they really didn't think that was going to hit. And then kind of just unfortunately, consistently using the... <laughs> uh, using the wrong retina. That is so funny. I love that. Bella jump heavy, or stand heavy kick. Just wins. Get mashed on. It happens. I didn't realize we were watching a yo yo VOD. That wins! Oh my god. Yeah, and then got opened up. Unlucky. One more time. <laughs> Deal with it. This is true love we're making. Action. 
Zoners with teleports. This never goes wrong. Teleports and a DP assist. Wait, a DP assist. A DP. And an air dash. Don't forget the air dash. And an air dash. And some of the best mobility in the game. Don't worry about it. She needs it. But no, she's back. Some of her buttons are small. Alpha counter to save. Yep. Yep, yep. Save Eliza. You've been really smart about doing that the whole set. Mistimed. Unlucky. Oh no. Okay, what? What led to this? You missed that. And then got up forwarded on. Yeah, you're trying to check them up backing, but Robo does Robo things. It's understandable. Dead. Good kill. I think you missed time to the incoming a little bit. Come on. It's whatever. Now it's really rough for double. Bonk, yeah. B. Player two wins. Oh wait. Whatever. Uh. <laughs> Dry cooker is still up there. Yeah. I'm gonna just put this up for now, I guess. Um, things I want to say. First off, honestly, especially with how difficult it is for your characters, you are doing a really good job dealing with peacock bullshit. Yeah. You, you were getting through, getting in. Um, and then that leads us again to the uh, the point. It's like, you did, you did all that work, and then you just kept getting hit at the last second by that DP assist. And so, they are by no means easy to deal with. They are really, really fucking annoying. Um... But, some of the ways you're dealing with it, so you were dash blocking and blocking it, that is a good way to deal with it. Um, but, so we talked about throwing a little bit if they were close enough. And then, uh, another option is chicken blocking it. Chicken blocking a DP assist is one of the best ways to invalidate it, um, because you're getting rid of a lot of the block stun they're expecting you to be in, so it's still your turn after you block the assist. Um, and this is true of almost any DP assist. The really annoying one is actually L-Bomber, the assist that you run, because it drags them down and then the second hit also hits them. Yeah, chicken block them counter call, or even just chicken block and jab. Like, you'll, you'd be surprised how many people just pressing a button after chicken blocking it catches, because they're not used to people being to act that quickly out of um, blocking their assist. Um, and so that was one of the major things I wanted to talk about because it was a major pain point in that. Um, what was the other thing? There's one other... Oh yeah, okay, so that and the other thing I thought that was making things really hard on yourself was your push block habits. And this was kind of just an overarching thing. So 
because we, we, we talked about it a little bit when you were blocking the peacock projectiles and when you were choosing to push block those that can make things a little bit harder um choosing and not choosing to push block assists obviously depends on the situation but um push blocking the anti dp doesn't that one might actually just put you in less block stun i'm not sure i forget the frame data on that more. it's still more not anymore they nerfed the blocks done on that okay um and then when you had someone in your face you did have a couple good pbgc's and i know you talked about earlier um you don't want to need like a pbgc punish for every situation and you really don't have to um you weren't using push block to get people off you and so Granted, it's really easy for characters, if you're playing against a character like Parasol, who has a lot of single hit or their multi hits are really slow, to just do it once and it works perfectly fine so you don't need to think about it much. Um, but for characters like Robo, who will incessantly up forward and jump medium punch you, and so bands do the same thing with up forward jump light kick, um, you need to make sure you're push blocking the last hit of it if you want them off of you, because... Otherwise, um, they're just going to stick on you because the, of how the push block mechanics work in this game. Um, and so the simple, simple answer is always try and push block the last hit. But push block is a very versatile mechanic in this game and honestly, like what opens up a lot of the higher, higher level defense. And I'm not going to pretend like I understand remotely like a tenth of how push blocking works proper and how you can exploit it to like the utmost degree but um looking for specific pbgc openings even just getting a character off you so you have space to breathe so you can actually play neutral again um and then a couple other things like giving you different windows so you're talking about limiting block stun i know i mentioned the one way we were talking about getting around the peacock zoning pattern there were a couple other times where you push block in the middle of a multi-hit without any intention to pbgc afterwards so you just kind of wasted your push block i didn't necessarily think i saw a whole lot of you abusing absolute guard but at the same time you were also playing a zoner not having to hold like egregious high-low 50-50s often, so I don't know how much of that is a habit. I use that all the time, and it's honestly probably one of the only reasons people think my defense is as good as it is. Um, just, just stuff like that, where um, you don't, at least from that set, seem to be as comfortable with it as I might expect you to be at the level you're playing. So that is probably the other major thing I'd suggest you try and think about and look. Yep, that is it is a very good habit. And again, it can be exploited. It takes a really good player to exploit it, and even then, it allows you to adapt afterwards. So it's not a, oh, I'm just fucked sort of deal. Um, that is a really good habit to get into. Um, Your guard is busted. <laughs> again, People call my defense great. It's literally... I, I just abused that. Like, I swear to God. <laughs> it's so dumb. Um, those are the two main things. One asterisk is... Um, the thinking portion of the game. It's easy to get frustrated and easy to turn your brain off and just try and autopilot but one of the major things especially in longer sets you need to be doing is recognizing patterns of how you're getting hit so the multiple games in a row where you just ran into the dp assists going through your head okay what the hell am i doing wrong here because i've exploded the same way like five times what are my options to deal with it and so we brought up the uh or i brought up the throwing Dry brought up the uh, Sekhmet, and then lo and behold, the next two or three games that you use Sekhmet, you absolutely exploded the, the 
fucker. Like, those games were not even close. You barely lost a character in any of those. Um, and so it's just sort of stuff like that. And then it also goes back to, I'm doing something well, but my opponent is then adapting to it. So when you were punching the assist, you were doing it consistently all set. It's a very good habit to be in. I, I love to see you doing that. Eventually they started to pick up on it and every now and again, you'd go for a punish and they'd just be like, I know you're gonna do this. So they'd throw out a hard call out projectile, so on and so forth and make you eat health for um, hitting the assist. And so trading like that, honestly, I'd argue still probably pretty good for you, but um, starting to layer one, adapt to what your opponent's doing, layer two, adapt to how they're dealing with what you're doing well. Um, but those, those were my two, major two, quote unquote, three things um, I noticed specifically with that set. I don't know if you had anything else uh, you wanted to talk about, Dry? No. I, I, I like, got here, <laughs> and then my brain was... It, it hey, Dunce, hey Dunce, let me in. I can't believe you didn't let me in. Let me in. I want to help. Try gets in the call. I sleep. <laughs> ADHD meds will burn. <laughs> um, but yeah, I mean, sedative, okay. th those are the, again, three major things I wanted to talk about. And again, I want to reiterate, you did a lot of things pretty well on that set as well. Um, dealing with the peacock zoning was better than I've probably like ever dealt with it. Those were, that was a really good job on characters who it's really fucking annoying to do it on. Um, I gave you a couple pointers for the Robo because you seemed to struggle with that a little bit more. Um, you were still getting in. Ironically, your major pain point was actually keeping the Robo off of you, not getting onto the Robo. We already talked about that. Um, and then your corner pressure was really good. Your Umbi just straight up won games in the corner, like... Honestly, you... You were playing, like, near perfect. You just kind of ran your face into a DP assist. No, you, you were doing a lot of things well. There were just some... Like, a few issues. The issue was those problems were major problems. But that also means... Granted, they're a little bit habit, so it's a pain in the ass to deal with. Um... Yeah, that's that's the really annoying thing about dealing with either of them. I, I def to this day, will try and close space versus Robo and eat shit and die because they've decided to press two medium kick instead of running away. But I mean, I also play that game. I'm a Parasol player. That's like, that's kind of how zoning in this game works. Because it's, you can commit to full zoning, but if you're not throwing out the buttons to check people approaching you, um... It's not going to be anywhere near as effective if they're afraid you're going to do something other than the status quo. So, sometimes that is kind of just a guess. That goes back to kind of adapting to what your opponent's doing. Um, and it's also thinking about options that don't necessarily win in both scenarios, but don't lose to both scenarios. Um, so, for instance... If you're worried about a robo, if you think the two or three choices are ground beam, up back beam, or two medium kick, um, like up forward, this is probably an egregious example, but like up forward segment button as a hard call, or just up forward block even, um, doesn't really lose to any of those. It's not, it's not winning in some of those scenarios. Like granted, you can punish the 2mk on reaction if you up forward and it doesn't clip your toes. I forget how bad Eliza's up forward hitbox is. Um, but just try, trying to think about scenarios like that where rather than it's a coin flip scenario, how can I minimize my risk in the situation um, sort of deal? Yeah, like TDK to Cartouche, yeah. Granted, I think that loses to Sweep because Robo Sweep is fucking egregious. Um, but it's it's thinking about issues like that. 
Um, sometimes there isn't a nice answer, which is really annoying. Um, but it's thinking and then talking with other people who've had to think about the problem and see how they deal with it, see how that compares to how you're dealing with it. Um, I recently, like, exploded because I was just playing against Peacock the wrong way. And then the moment I decide, I finally, like, got off my ass and asked players who I knew would have good opinions about the game what they did and started implementing how they dealt with the situation I was dealing with, all of a sudden my life became a whole lot easier. So I think I think you're really getting close to there. That, that honestly looked really good. And I think you've just got a couple key steps to make and then you're going to be a really really solid player yeah i mean you already are you even more so than you already are um and I, it's been it's nice to see because i also don't think i've played you in a hot minute either so it's glad to see you've kept on improving <laughs>